afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, and watch me do all the hard work. Good evening Zwift fans, welcome to Monday Run Club, we are live on the Film My Run channel, we have just started, I'm just messaging the rest of the gang who are running because I'm in charge tonight, not that that means very much because we've got, uh, we got the workout all set up on the left hand side there so no need for me to do much, but it's nice to say hi isn't it, just a case of following the instructions on screen tonight. So we are doing a progressive run, so you can see it's in one kilometer intervals, gradually increasing the pace all the way up. We've got nine kilometers to run and we're gradually getting faster and faster as the nine kilometers go on. I'm going to look at Facebook chat, I'm going to look at YouTube chat, so do say hi. What do you mean it's happening again, Ryan? We're always here. Green says, whoop, whoop. So look at, look at the instructions in front of you and just follow them. That's all we have to do. Nice big group B tonight. No water bottle giveaway tonight. So these are people who are genuinely up for the run. Genuinely up for the crack. You few uh, well-known faces and names. Simon Cook, Ollie, Paul Deering, Georgie. Um, who else have we got there? Paul Hayward. Recognisable names. People who regularly run with us on Zwift. And all we are doing tonight is just getting faster and faster. As we tick off the kilometres, we increase the speed. I'm in Group B tonight because my legs are a little tired after running yesterday. Don't know how many are in Group B because they've all disappeared off. Uh, group A rather. Gwyn did a 10k race yesterday and was third in the age category. Well done. 23rd overall. Nice running. So he's taking a night off tonight 
due to sore legs. I bet if you went to uh, pretty all out, then uh, you would have pretty sore legs. So about 400 meters left of our warm up. And uh, I just need my legs to stretch out a bit because they are still feeling a little bit tight from yesterday. And uh, I met up with the, uh, the famous Tim Gross yesterday who came down to support me in my run. So it was nice to see him. He uh, came and waved me along and then met me at the finish. That was nice. He did a little half marathon in the process. And uh, I think he's running tonight. I'm not entirely sure. But if he is, he'll probably be in Group A. Because, uh, you know, that's the way Tim rolls. Through the tunnel and down to the beach. So all runners default spawn point, point is now on the running path you can go on the cycling path if you want to and at the beginning of your run you can choose where you want to go but if you don't choose anywhere the default place to go is to the uh, is to the running path now i need to be very careful here because there are some turns where, because I've got my little program on that changes the camera angles, it also accidentally changes the direction that I run. So thanks for the ride on Simon. Hopefully I won't. I mean, I need to make sure that I don't go right at the end of this road and I, I do go left. No need for me to do much in terms of instruction to the gang tonight, even though I'm the beacon, I'm the, the run leader tonight for Group B. I don't need to do anything. Everyone just follows the instructions and we're all good. Sometimes nice to have a bit of banter with the gang though. That's one kilometer done. We are now into the first set. Hold this speed for one kilometer. So, shout at me if I go the wrong way. Coming up is the dreaded turn where I need to make sure I go left and not right. Most people, it's automatic and it's fine. It's just because of certain programs that I'm running. Here we go, look. Keep your eye on that beach path. Left turn. If it suddenly changes to main road, we're in trouble and we need to get on the mouse pretty quick. Wait for the orange circle to reach the end. Don't you change now. Don't you change. Fingers crossed we might be alright. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. But I do need to keep my eye on that for the rest of the run as well just in case I go the wrong way if any of you saw um, was it run in the park on Saturday morning I went off the wrong way and it, it was I have to admit fairly hilarious Dean hand hi there Dean says he enjoyed my Perbeck Marathon video. If you haven't seen that, go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash film my run, and you can see the latest running video that I've uploaded. Thanks for the ride on Krista, is of the Perbeck Marathon, one of the most beautiful marathons in the UK. Beautiful coastal run, and inland as well. Um, classic English castle, the uh, Corf Castle, steam trains, beautiful cliffs, lovely run. 
So go and have a look at that video. Thanks for the ride on. Now Roman's going to receive his football on Wednesday. So hopefully you'll be joining us soon. Nice to be running on the beach path during the day. I think I've, I've run on the beach path at night time too many times already. I like it when it's daytime at the beach. Tim is around, so he's probably streaming. If you want to go and have a look at Tim's screen, he is streaming group A. He'll either be on Facebook or YouTube or both. So if you want to have both of us on stream at the same time, you can. <laughs> you can check out how B group and A group are doing at the same time. Tim's running his swanky shed at the bottom of his garden. I'm in the kitchen while uh, my shed is being rebuilt. So 400 meters left at this pace and then we go a little bit faster. Leo did the Chester Marathon on Sunday. Well done, Leo. First marathon. Hope you did all right. Three hours, 10 minutes. Three hours, 10 minutes for a first marathon is ridiculously good. It took me about five marathons to get to that speed. And in fact, that's, that is still about my PB for a marathon. 3.09, 3.09.30. So, 3.10 is amazing. Well done. So it sounds like you're going to be a sub three guy when you get used to running marathons. <laughs> Let me just message the guys. Here we go. Lovely day at the beach. You may have seen my post the other day about, um, if you look at photographs of Venice Beach and Long Beach, California, you'll notice the paths they have the real life paths they have running along their beaches. Very similar. I'm sure the Zwift team took inspiration from the local paths at their HQ. There's our beautiful statues. Bit of a conversation going on about the milestone foot pod. Remember, guys, the milestone foot pod, the company has been bought out by Zwift. So, Zwift will very shortly be producing and releasing their own 
version of the milestone foot pod, the Zwift pod, which hopefully will have some slightly improved metrics and certainly in an update to Zwift at some point in the future, the calibration tool will be changed so that instead of just one point of calibration, there will be three points of calibration, a slow speed, a medium speed, and a fast speed. So that should provide a lot more accuracy for foot pods like the Milestone, which are not great when changing speeds. Of course, if you can afford it, I'm, I still recommend the Stride because it is much better at uh, altering to the, to the speed that you're running at if you're running an interval session or just regularly changing your speed. So uh, you consider the Stride, but in terms of cost effectiveness, the Milestone is still a great choice. And like I say, hopefully it'll improve now that Zwift have bought it out. Two, uh, two meters, oh, what am I talking about? Two and a half kilometers <laughs> run. And uh, about 450 meters to go to the next step up, which will be to 11 kilometers an hour, another kilometer faster. Trying to keep the heart rate nice and steady. 139 at the moment. And look, it's nearly all B group there. A couple of runners quite a long way ahead though. Melfi from Italy is 49 seconds ahead. I did see somebody was over a minute ahead. So it's good if the group can stay together. And we, we seem to have like about three little groups here. One little group just up ahead, look, and then our lot and a couple behind us. I've got Georgie in my group, Paul Deering. Ollie is just ahead in the other group. Two hundred and fifty meters left at this pace, and then we up it again. Let's go and have a look at YouTube. See if there's anyone chatting on there. Leo, I, I'm not sure it'll be this year for the Zwift pod, to be honest. I, I might be wrong. Um, I would imagine sometime in the new year. <laughs> Tina says she's not running tonight. And Ryan is saying, where's my dressing gown? Hilarious, Ryan. Do you know what? It did it again tonight, but I spotted it in time before I went live. For some reason, camera two keeps taking a random photo and sticking it as a static image on my feed. And it did it on Saturday morning. I was in my dressing gown, setting up the, the stream. And for the entire stream, I didn't notice that there was, on camera two, just a static photo of me in my dressing gown. Go and have a look on the YouTube video of it. It's hilarious. I don't know how it got there. But anyway, tonight, I made sure I checked and it had done it again. Luckily, I wasn't in the picture. It was taking a random photo of the scene here. So I had to go in and alter it and get my camera back. So hopefully it's working all right tonight. So we've stepped up now. Another kilometre, slightly faster. On the bridge over the sea now. Tina says she's on holiday. Where are you on holiday then, Tina? I mean, could you not find a gym somewhere with a treadmill? What's going on? Lazy. That's what it is. Oh, it's hot in the uh, kitchen tonight. I've got the fan on, but 
I am sweating quite a lot. See the colour on the left hand side, kilometre splits. First kilometre was a blue, so zone one of my heart rate. Second kilometre was green, zone two, and third kilometre is yellow. We are firmly now in zone three. I'm hoping I don't go much higher than that. I don't really want to go into zone four today. Oh yeah, of course, everyone's getting, getting their rejected emails from the London Marathon. So if you're watching in another country and you don't know anything about this today, right, this week, people who've applied for a place in the London Marathon are getting their emails or their magazines which tell them whether they've got a place or not. And uh, so many people apply that most people get a rejection letter but there are the lucky few who get who get an email to say you're in or a magazine with you're in on the front I'm very pleased to say my wife is one of them this year so Victoria will be running the London Marathon two weeks after running the Paris Marathon <laughs> didn't organize that very well did we but I think what we're going to do is we're going to do Paris as a very slow final long distance run as a training run and then we'll go for a good time in London and I hopefully I'll be able to run along with her we'll see so Again, just over 400 metres now, and we bump it up again. We're not halfway through the session yet. Bev got rejected again, sorry Bev. It was a no for Dean as well. See, most people, to be fair, most people do get a no. You know, if you've got 400,000 people applying and only 30,000 places, it's not even that, is it, really, to be fair? Most people are going to get rejected. But there we are. All you can do is keep trying in the ballot or trying to get a good for age place, although that's become a lot harder in recent months as well, seeing as London Marathon events change the rules, so you do have to be faster now to get a good for age place. It's always important to try and remember simple things. If, if you're finding a run difficult, you know, just say to yourself, relax, breathe. And do wonders for you, because sometimes you get so involved and emotionally kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You get emotionally involved in the run and your, your sensible objective thinking goes out of the window and uh, you start to panic and that's never good for um, when you want to do a solid training effort or a good race you need to be objective you need to stand back and look at your form your breathing look at your cadence look at your stride length Think about all of these things 
make sure you're being as efficient as you possibly can be when you're running. Roman says, do I always run with a cap? Um, a lot of the time, yes, because it keeps the sweat off my face. So it's, it's a bit of a habit. I like wearing a cap and also it helps to keep my earphones in place because I've got the cable attached to the back. But the main reason for wearing a cap is it, it stops a lot of sweat getting in my eyes, especially in a hot environment like this. Bev, Again, it's asking about the Zwift pod. So, I honestly do not know. I, I don't have the inside information. I can tell you what I do know, that there, is, there will be a rebranded Milestone pod. So Milestone will be rebranded to become a Zwift pod. Zwift bought the Milestone company. So, whether it's exactly the same foot pod or whether it has different functionality, I do not know. It will probably not be Ant Plus, it will be Bluetooth. And whether, whether it's exactly the same mechanics inside, electronics inside, I don't know. But the only other thing I can tell you is that for any foot pod, at some point Zwift we think are going to upgrade the calibration tool. So this is not just relevant to the Milestone or the Zwift pod, but any foot pod. The, the calibration tool will be a three-point calibration tool rather than a one-point calibration tool. They'll have slow, medium and fast calibrated. If you are interested in running on Zwift, then you do need a few things. First and foremost, access to a treadmill. You may have your own, you may need to go to a gym, but it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use. Secondly, if you are on a Mac or a PC, you will need a foot pod. And that foot pod needs to be an Ant Plus foot pod. It needs to broadcast in Ant Plus. You will also need a USB stick to plug into your computer or Mac and that will receive the signal from your Ant Plus foot pod. If you're using an iOS device, it could be an iPad, an iPhone, or even Apple TV, then you will need a Bluetooth foot pod, specifically a smart Bluetooth foot pod. You can get them from Polar, you can get a Stride, or you can get a Milestone foot pod. These all connect direct to your iOS device, so there's no need for anything extra. And that really is all you need to run on Zwift. So get that foot pod, get access to a treadmill, and we'll see you on Zwift very soon. They're just messaging the group again. So we're nearly up to the next, the next kilometer, 11.5 kilometers an hour. You see the green archway up ahead, that signals the end of this kilometer, the beginning of the next kilometer, 80 meters left. There it is, look. I've just hit my microphone. Let me know if you can't hear me. Let me know that you still can hear me. Sometimes my microphone shorts out if I hit it with a sweaty hand. Leo, no milk today. No, I don't need a drink for a short run. But uh, that run I did up the, uh, the Alp the other day was a, a long old one. So I did need something. 
So here we go, another kilometre, slightly faster. So I'm just going to pull ahead just to try and catch up with a couple of the guys up ahead. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Good stuff. If you've never seen Zwift running before, if you are new, hello, welcome along. This is Zwift, which is a virtual running and cycling game. By game, I actually do mean game. You earn points, you get virtual prizes. There are levels you can go up. But it's a game in which you actually do the real work. Back down a bit now that I'm with the main front group. There are a few B group runners up ahead still. Six hundred meters to go at this pace. And then we have two final kilometers, one at 11.7, one at 12 kilometers an hour. So what we do guys, we run every Monday and every Wednesday, Monday Run Club, Wednesday workout in groups like this, where we follow pre-programmed instructions telling us what to do. But there's usually a group leader like me who, uh, helps to G people along. If you want to use Zwift, you can use it for free. It doesn't cost any money at all. All you need is a foot pod and access to a treadmill. You can run on your own if you want to. You don't have to join these groups. Um, you could, you know, you get on any time of the day or night and run on Zwift. Or you can download the Zwift companion app and that will give you lots of group events that you can join either workouts like this where you follow instructions or just group runs where you all just run together. It makes it like a little running club online. If you're in a running club in the real world, you know what it's like to run the streets with your friends. And it gets to be like that on Zwift. You run with your friends, people you know, people you recognize. And you form a little community. And that's what we've got here on Zwift. And we've got our own running path now. So it used to be that we shared the roads with the cyclists. We can still do that if we want to. But now we have our own special path to run on as well. So again, I need to keep my eye on the instructions down below where it says beach path telling me what direction I'm going to go. I don't want to accidentally change direction. It's happened to me before, it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> you can change direction manually if you want to. But because we're running in a group, generally the direction is pre-programmed for us, so we don't need to worry about it. Apart from people like me, we've got extra programs running in the background which affect the direction we go. So, nearly at the next kilometer. Roman's saying, do we know if there's a leaderboard 
of Zwifters. Um, when you say a leaderboard, it depends what you mean. Um, you mean people who've run the furthest or the fastest? You know what? I don't think there is. What you can do is you can go to um, ZwiftPower.com. That's ZwiftPower.com. That's a third-party organisation that logs every Zwift ride and run and race, and it, it logs people as first, second, third. And um, there are, I think, there are kind of individual profiles where it gives you how far people have run in total and things like that. But you can also check that on the Zwift Companion app. Just search for somebody's name and it'll tell you how many miles they've run in total, how many miles they've cycled, what's the maximum elevation they've done. Okay. So we've got two kilometers of hard work left and then we can chill out. Great that we've got the group to stick together again as well. I love it when uh, we've got lots of people all running in a nice tight group. Okay, really doing well now. Heart rate's nice and steady. 148, we're not going into the orange zone today. Sticking in zone three. If you don't know about heart rate zones, generally accepted there are five heart rate zones. Endurance, moderate, tempo, threshold, anaerobic. In Zwift, we've divided these up into colors. So endurance is blue, moderate zone is green, tempo, uh, tempo zone is yellow, threshold zone is orange and anaerobic is red. If you're in the red zone, you are really killing it and working hard. Let's just catch up a bit, pull the group again. Just trying to make sure the group doesn't spread out too much. Just keep it nice and tight. One more message.
Hey. Doing great, everyone. Really good work. Eight hundred meters left. And then we go to the cool down. Although from what I hear from the earlier runs of this session, the cool down is pretty fast as well for a bit. <laughs> Dean says, he said it before and he'll say it again. Thank you for streaming. You're welcome. But he's off to watch EastEnders. Oh no, if... If I wasn't streaming, you'd have to watch EastEnders. That's, that's the way to do it. Nice one. <laughs> Tough call, Paul. EastEnders or me. A Dean, rather. So still just trying to stay relaxed not push the heart rate too high. We've got 600 meters to go to the end of this hard kilometer. And then we've got one kilometer of cool down. But like I say, I think much of that one kilometer is quite speedy as well, actually. Thanks for the thumbs up, Steve. Steve Hargreaves. Pleased to say my legs have loosened up a bit now. I was feeling very tight this morning. But actually, this is a good recovery run from yesterday's efforts. Did a bit of an ultra yesterday on the flat. A fairly flat run, basically, along an old railway line. Very nice. Managed to come into 12th, in 12th place, which is my best result on that course. I was pleased with that. And like I said earlier, I got to meet the legend that is Tim Gross, who came down to say hi and support me. That was nice. I'm, I've met Tim before, obviously, but it's just nice to see him. Always nice to meet up with fellow Zwifters. So, just over 200 metres left. There in the distance with the blimp is the green arch, which signifies the end of this section and we're into the cool down. See, if you look on the left-hand side again of the screen, there's some yellow stars and uh, so far, I've managed to successfully get seven out of nine stars. If we complete this, we'll get eight, and then the cooldown is the ninth star. And you get them by just sticking to the instructions. So 12.1 is not far off. So I will get, I will get a pass mark for that. So we're staying at 12, look.
There we go. Gradually slowing down. 750 metres left for the end of the run. Good job by everybody. Oh look. Oh look. Kilometre 8 was in the orange zone. Average heart rate. Zone 4. Oh dear. Maybe I was talking too much. That does often push my heart rate up more than it should go. So, coming to the end of the run now, if you've got any final questions, anything you want to ask, do please do so. Just want to say hi, that you've been watching or whatever, then again, do that. Thanks very much for joining me tonight. Always a pleasure to run on the treadmill with you guys. Thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, we'll be back on Wednesday this week, 7.30. UK time for Wednesday workout and don't forget to join John Hancock on uh, Saturday morning 9 o'clock UK time for Run in the Park I always say I know you regular people who watch probably sick to death of me saying it but it's worth repeating you live in a different time zone Asia Australia USA and this particular run does not fit in with your life there are other time zone runs. So this particular run, Monday Run Club, does four, three other slots during the day. So download the Zwift companion app to your phone. Check out when Monday Run Club runs in a time that is suitable for you. Same for Wednesday workout. And every, any other events that you wanna join, all listed on the Zwift Companion app. If you've never run on Zwift before, Zwift is free. Don't pay anything to join Zwift at the moment. We are still in the beta stage because we are learning, we're getting better and better, and we're spreading the word about running on Zwift. Come and join us. And if you can't join us on the trails, on the roads, then uh, Turn on to my Zwift stream and I'll, uh, I'll give you some light entertainment every Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> and occasionally other days as well when I fancy it. So we're gradually slowing down now. Important, as again I've said before, to gradually slow down and not to suddenly stop. Good for the recovery of your muscles, draining the lactic acid from your legs. Good for your heart to not go from beating at 160 BPM to suddenly having to drop. This brings everything down gradually. No shocks to the system. There's the blue arch. That signifies the end of our run this evening. Uh, Roman, I will try and share my playlist with you, yeah. The thing is, some of the, some of the songs, I've actually forgotten what they are. So I'll, I'll have to look them up again. But basically, they are actually all... If you look up royalty-free tunes on... Royalty-free music on iTunes... Uh, not on iTunes, on YouTube. Royalty-free music will bring up lists and lists of songs and, and uh, instrumentals that don't cost any money basically to use. Obviously, if I'm streaming on Facebook and YouTube, there are copyright issues. So I can't use any music that is copyrighted or I would have to pay or I'd just get a, a strike from YouTube or Facebook. So search on YouTube for royalty-free music. And uh, as, 
while, while you're flicking through, you're bound to come across some of these tunes that I've got on here. And there we are. So we did actually do two kilometers in the orange zone for the heart rate. So I am still obviously quite tired from yesterday. Um, but most of the run in zone three. So I'm pleased with that. Um, just give a couple of people a ride on. Some people are just chilling out now, just running a few extra meters or another kilometer or so, just to chill out. I'll just bang out a few ride-ons. There we go, that'll do. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone, tonight. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, it was a fun run. And there we are. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Always a pleasure. That was a good workout. And uh, we'll be back on Wednesday. A bit harder on Wednesday. Wednesday workout is usually a bit of a toughie, especially if you join Group A. And uh, I feel like having done a, a Group B run tonight, I maybe ought to join Group A for a bit of a harder workout on Wednesday. So we'll see what happens. Until then, guys, take care. See you soon for another Zwift run. Bye-bye, guys.